Hey guys, welcome back to another Redstone video. Today I got a shorter one. I want to show you honey based TNT dupers. Made a couple of different versions. First, I want to show those and then talk a little bit why I'm actually doing this. Right, so here's the simplest version. It's only eight blocks and only requires two honey blocks. This can dupe TNT but only move in one direction. So technically, you could also add three more blocks like this and move it back if you wanted to but the TNT will only dupe in one direction. Okay, it's the simplest version. Then I also made another one that double dupes TNT. Got a flying machine here in the back, can launch it. Can even safely stop this one here. The TNT falls down reliably. Okay, to make sure that that happens, that's why we have this block here. Make sure that uh, the TNT can't land on top of the bottom block. Unfortunately, there's no real way to push this in the other direction um, without preventing it from blowing up. I can quickly build this up to show you. It's the problem. So we need slime blocks here. Then I can place the TNT block back. Actually, we need another honey block here. So that my car doesn't fall down. Get rid of that. So I can push it in that direction. But the TNT gets ignited, as you can see here. And last, we have the most versatile TNT duper. This can be moved in two directions using just a single sticky piston. And additionally, it can also be pushed down. So in order to push it down, you need to push down this block here. And you also need to make sure that the minecart goes down. That's why I just need a second piston here. And then you need to power it from here. This way you can safely push down the TNT duper. So this would be interesting for a world heater type machine. Unfortunately, this only dupes in one direction, so only if you push it forward. You can rebuild it a little bit to yeah, make it dupe when being retracted. So we need to add the honey blocks here and the dead coral. And then this would dupe on the retraction. But yeah, not on the extension. If you would have push limit 16, then obviously we could add this on the other side as well. Then it would be a two-way duper, but I would need to change the push limit to 16. I'll do a tutorial how to assemble those dupers at the end of the video. Survival, you need to build them a certain order, but now I'm gonna explain why I'm actually doing this. So this is part of a challenge, you could say. Recently on my stream, we were talking about how peaceful mode is the most difficult survival mode, since you don't get any mob drops from hostile mobs. So obviously a flying machine uses a lot of slime blocks usually. Uh, most flying machines are still made out of slime blocks because it's the more versatile block. And you would only use honey, like I did here with my recent TNT tunnel bore, if you need a block that doesn't stick to slime but sticks to other blocks. So the big disadvantage of honey is that the honey block can't be powered. You can see here on the flying machine, I do this quite often, that I have an observer pointing into a slime block that powers a nearby piston. So that's why I would consider the slime block more versatile when it comes to flying machines. Also you can't, for example, place rails on top of the honey block. Also, I'm considering slime blocks to be cheaper than honey blocks in endgame. A proper slime farm can easily outperform a you know, rather large honey farm in terms of production. So that's why I think slime blocks are usually cheaper and that's why I also usually use them for my builds um, when I have the choice between the two. But this is very different in peaceful mode where you don't have any slime spawns. There are two ways how you can get slime blocks. So the first one is to wait for a wandering trader and hope for the slime ball trade. I don't know the exact chances, but I had to summon in 15 wandering traders until one finally had the slime ball trade. And you would only be able to get five slime balls of one wandering trader, which is not even enough for a single slime block. Then a second way how you could actually get slime balls is panda snot. So when the panda sneezes, you can summon in a couple of them, then there's a really small chance that you would get a slime ball item. But the other chance is really low. It's a bit higher for the weak panda. Um, 
So you would need to yeah, breed a lot of weak pandas. First you would need to find a wild weak panda, breed with another weak wild panda to get a lot of yeah baby weak pandas. So they have this um, snot on their nose here. And then yeah, you would need to breed hundreds of them just to get a single slime block. You also would need to kill the adult pandas at some point because only the baby pandas could give you the slime balls. And it takes 20 minutes for them to grow up. That's the chance to get slime balls. So it's really hard to get a slime block in peaceful mode. So to be able to build a flying machine of this size in peaceful mode, this would probably require months of waiting for the wandering traders to spawn or a couple of days AFKing at a panda sneeze farm. But this is definitely not feasible. You definitely want to replace as many slime blocks as possible with honey blocks. Rebuilding a flying machine to require as little slime as possible and replace it with honey is in most parts trivial. For example, instead of powering the block directly, we could use QC power, power the piston from above. Or you could add another honey block and power it from the side. There would be ways to rebuild this. This is not hard for the most part. And in some cases, slime would be required because this Flying machine in particular shoots a TNT entity upwards and forward. There is actually required to use slime. You couldn't get around that. Um, it's a bit tricky to rebuild a proper TNT duper though. So the challenge when trying to make a slimeless TNT duping module was that you couldn't just replace slime with honey because you couldn't place the detector rail and the dead coral fan on top of honey. So you had to use a normal block for those blocks. Get it here. I can place a detector rail on it and you can attach that crawl fan also on the side of a normal block. So in pushing this one way, it's pretty simple to actually achieve this. The issue was actually doing it two way and then literally being able to push it down because the, yeah, the update order had to be right. Also it was kind of important for me because I actually want to make a fully functional world eater without using any slime, was that additionally couldn't have any honey blocks on the side of the TNT, because then there's a chance that actually the TNT fall would be slowed down by the, yeah, the TNT entity sliding down the side of the honey block. And this would um, yeah, change the fall height of TNT and it wouldn't be reliable anymore. So you had to have the TNT, uh, uh, the honey on top of the TNT. And last, I'm going to show you how you can build this in normal survival, because you couldn't just place the TNT here, it would immediately get activated by the powered block. So you have to assemble those machines unless you use, for example, carpet mod, like I did earlier for the demonstration. But it's not really hard. Basically, you just need to move this part on forward and push everything together. So basically, build those five blocks with the micron on top, and this needs to be one block to the front. And you can assemble it, and the next push would dupe. Yeah, you can do the same pretty much. Um, for the double TNT version, so we had it this earlier. Yep, like that. Just need to push this forward. And then it dupes the next time. Alright, and last, the two-way version. This one is a bit trickier. A um, simple way to do it is actually to push it down. So you could place the TNT one block lower and then push all of the top down. But in some cases, this is a bit awkward. So there's also a way how you could assemble it without pushing it down. Let's go over a couple of blocks. So here we need to... Place the structure first, the detector rail. Then you can also place another honey block here, there. TNT one block to the front. Don't forget to place the minecart. Then we're gonna add the other uh, honey blocks, that normal block, and the dead coral fan here. Then you want to push forward once, remove this honey block here, and then we have the duper assembled. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.